Okay. Uh, looks like this. This is Calibon City, latitude, longitude, elevation, elevation, feed, population, total area, a lot of information. So I want to use this information and uh, find uh, and show some graphs, large population basis on the at per click. Okay. So this topic will be Import and other uh, speed. It is equal to cd dot ecsv carry for it dot ecsv. Ah, same name I believe. California cities. So now I want to get that actual longitude information. See the data first. Right, so you have a latitude, longitude. This is the information. So let's get this information. Population total. We have uh, area total game. So we have to use this field. Some information. I have to plot this. The PLT dot. Uh, This is one field, two field X and Y.
So we want color information also possible color information. What you do is you want to np dot import. Yeah. So do log ten. That is what uh, pass here population. Okay, this is the color options. Right, so a lot of the, in one bracket, lot of options. So if I just have to, okay, population. There is a different type of colors to be specified. Because it, it, what happens is when you lock in, a lot of data comes in one category, right? It can be a, then we will see map. This is the what was the thing that we saw yesterday, the last one. That is the easiest one to remember, right? Because, then size of it, size of those uh, uh, circles, right? You want to show by area this time, isn't it? Area, right? Because if you want bigger area, then you want to show bigger circle, isn't it? Right? So area. Dft x x This idea. So you see the bigger thing in the bigger circle, isn't it? So if you have latitude and longitude this way, or you can provide it in a map and you can provide this object, isn't it? It will tell you where is the density of population more, where the density of population less. So I mean, area, area is population because your population area is your size. Area is your size of this. Okay, so I mean, there is some information which I don't really understand to a great extent. So you have latitude, longitude, and you have some uh, area of total kilometers. Uh, so some information, but the idea is to show it in. I mean, your shape can be area. So, Right, earlier we have given pixels of size of our interest. Right here, your shape, shape size can be area. So it's just taking the normal area of kilometers mm -hmm. for that particular. Just keep it in mind. Suppose you want to show some information, and that information actually you want to show, you know, say number of coders in a particular region. Right. So if you have uh, if you have number of coders in a particular area X. And if some area is 2x, then of course the 2x thing should be shown as a two bigger circle compared to your x, right? This sort of information you can show it like this. Yeah. Order, right? Make any sense? Have you got color bar uh, in this uh, in this piece of code? Ah, you can have it. I mean, that is what I was about to speak. Color bar. You have you have the color bar in the computer index. You keep it there. No. Of course. What 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 kind of components are there? Could it be like a data or something like that? Hmm. Space and population. Right. So. This, this is a color option here, right? Okay. Now, here, if I choose some other color, say, what is it? Uh, 
okay so suppose you have data like this okay and suppose you provide color bar here color bar related details okay. so plt dot color bar and uh, what is the label you want log log 10 of population Mm -hmm. See, this is log 10 of population. So, log 10 of uh, population is 6 means the population is very high. So, the population is very high. color coding. The size is the area information. The color size, the size is the area and the color is the population information because you are color, your color is a parameter of function of population. Right. So you can see here different population means different color. Right. So that, that's the idea here. So whatever you make color here, right? So yesterday remember uh, you were making targets color. Right. right. When you have four flower, the four flower belong to four four categories. So you have, it will have different different color. Right. Targets color. Right. Similarly, you have population color. Yes. Okay. So with color also you are representing one dimension. It makes sense, right? Yeah, uh -huh. Let me just show you one graph. Yesterday I was plotting. Let me just show you one thing. Uh, see this. Actually, I rewrote this part of code for this meaning. Otherwise, I think this was easier to understand. Suppose you have x axis 1, 2, 3, 4. You have y axis 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So this is your x axis, this is y axis. Okay. Got, you got four points, that's cool. And uh, you have this is a resultant. Imagine this is target 1, 3, 1, 0. Okay. And so what I've done in colors, I've given this. So first two, first guy and third guy will be one. First guy and third guy is same color, right? Then you have three, see, this color is coming for your one, right? The yellow is coming for three, this blue is coming for zero. Hmm? Is it clear? Color is, is uh, here it's hard coded actually. Okay, see this, huh? Uh, this is your x data y data. This is x data y data. C is your colors. So when x is 1, y is 5, color is 1. Understood? And color coding here, you have this color bar. 1 is this guy, right? So that's why this guy is, this guy is 1. When 4 and 8 is 0. 4 and 8 is 0. That's why the color is this. Got it, right? Yeah, I mean, I have this understanding very clear with color coding and all. Okay, similarly here, if this is different color, you have X and Y axis, additional longitude and versus population. So in population, you want to uh, show different color for different population. So you just made it function of, because if you don't make it function of population, log of population, it will do much of the data, right? Yeah. So it will be a lot of colors there. So you can, if you want to see, you can see this. When you want the range of colors to show something, uh, it's, it's like very difficult to understand here, right? Like, so, I mean, of course, that uh, because this range and this range, you're not separating the color options and all, it's very difficult to understand compared to this. Much better, right? So, all it should give you much better analysis. That is the idea. Yeah. 
सेकंड हाँ हाँ ओ हाँ सुधर You don't have any festival today? Not Oh, they will have one or something. Oh, today is Tamil Nadu. Yeah. I think Pradeep might be using something. Oh. What do you know, Pradeep? You met him. He's from Pradeep. How do you know? Oh, that was a talk. Oh. So then, how do you know? So you know, she has only. Okay, okay. Let's come. So let's do. So we have touched things around it. Let me give a final shape to that. Okay, x is equal to n b dot in space. I'm getting it right uh, in terms of my problem. Yes. No confusion. No, 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 no. <laughs> Because um, most of the people will be doing this first time, the color might not be so the understanding is a little different. But I might previously work a little bit on my map, so this is a little bit familiar with this. <laughs> okay, that's good then, that's good, that's good. And basically, you know, electronics background, is it? Okay. Okay, 0, 10. So this is one information. Okay, so what is what is it doing? It is nothing but a function of this guy. Okay, so this is new and this is a function which is working on uh, this data x. Okay, let me show you how does it look like. Suppose I do this now. Okay, so if I just show you x, it's easier to do Zero to ten thousand values and new x is. See this difference? Uh, zero, zero. I think this is one uh, list. Kind of list of lists actually. Very useful operation where you're converting one dimensional into the say this dimension. So here, so this is this one list. This thousand cross one. This is thousand. You saw the difference. So this is thousand rows of one element each. This is thousand. Thousand uh, elements in case one dimension. This is two dimension. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is always uh, you know these are useful operators in understanding your data set. Similar in case of one two dimensional thing, uh, then it's a uh, three dimensional. Uh, uh, three dimensional, you don't use things like this as such. Mostly for two dimensional, where you have one dimensional data you're converting into this two Okay, new axis. So, using this, what will happen? You will convert uh, this dimension to this dimension. And 100 elements, if you have an array of 100 elements, you're converting into a list of uh, one element each. 
that there are thousand rows, each having one element. So of course, uh, uh, I haven't seen much using uh, because this is for generation of numbers. This is real data. This is like generation of data, right? So. Is just generation of data i. So you have x, you have i, right? Gld dot. This is something known as I am show. Why do you think in is an unruly class, right? So, are you thinking there is a lot of colorful class? <laughs> yeah. It's like a really smooth image. Yeah. Yeah. So, there is a lot of data here. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are your uh, some pattern. If you can see this function is generating some pattern here. Like because of that pattern, you'll see this for value this and this it is point seven five for value this and this it is just some just some options to to color bar actually. Okay, say you want to uh, show something in different colors. So this color map, so if you want to see the various color map options, right? So having it view color map. Uh, or something it should be important. So you have various options. This one go directly. Uh, to see what we do from this. Oh, it's MATLAB. So, hey, by the way, yes, uh, you can come tomorrow. Morning. Saturday? Morning time. Right now. Because tomorrow I'm planning to start machine learning. Other focus I want, I want to use that room and the first class of machine learning. Other other badges also. I'll I'll confirm you. I'll confirm you. I need to check with everybody. We will sign and have because uh, I can ask for the person to come by and Sure, sure. It's well, Saturday, so more likely I am. I don't have other stuff, so I thought uh, we can do it. Okay, get free, right? Any chance? Morning only, not evening. We will have TV for time. Okay, so yeah, so I want to show things like this. Actually. These are various color options. These are all we have used this, right? We have this inferno, plasma, magma. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, it's like a lot of colors you can see. Yeah, see. Uh, they, you can see a rule, but it's more based on you know your understanding of data. 
see uh, if there are data of lot of variety you know, you want lot many colors if there are not lot of variety you want to have limited colors okay but these things you'll get only with you know when you're working on great problems and all so when you're actually visualizing those data uh, i mean you know sky picture and pandas and all then we'll get a we'll do you will use lot of visualization so you know it's not an end to this you sky get learn will eventually use this stuff No, I don't need to show you. You can see the stuff. Okay. Actually, there is a handwriting detection data set. Okay, usually working on eventually handwriting detection. So. This is the digits. Okay, this is the data set which is already present. Okay. And I want to plot it. Hmm. And to plot it, so I can make fig. But ax plt dot. Subplots actually. Subplots eight comma eight. Six comma six. Four i. Ax i. Enumerate. Okay, enumerate means uh, uh, if you have a if you pass list to enumerate. Let me show one example of enumerate. For I amount to J in enumerate. This pass the list one, not one. Eleven, twenty-two, thirty-three, forty-four, and if you do this, print I comma three. But why is I just one? So one. So one thing. Why is I one? I should be zero, one, two, three. Yeah. So zero. This I I data set should index. So if you have a list, right, you want to get both index and the data associated with it. You do this in your right. Okay. The similar thing. So uh, ex
Ah, because uh, uh, see what is this eight cross eight mean? I want uh, say eight eight cross eight subplots. Eight, eight, yeah, subplots. Subplots. Ah, eight rows, eight columns, like um, just just four. Because two subplots means one two, or say one two. Four subplots means one two three four. Yes. Similarly, eight cross. Ah, uh, see this. If you notice this. Okay, this is eight and eight subplots. And I want to print something inside it. Six or six. Mm. Eight cross eight. Yeah. And each size is six cross six. Figure six. Why do you want to change Okay, you need the scale here is six cross six. Okay, if you don't need this. <laughs> So it is not so in the right shape that I want to give you that side. That's it. So on student. So now what I want, I want to uh, say in built there are a lot of handwriting data. Yes. I want to show those handwriting data. So what will I do is uh fig for I comma A X I in enumerate. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Then did it start images? We take some time to load. Let's see. Let's see uh, this guy, right? You have uh, AX flat. Okay. So, what is AX? AX consists of all the data that is uh, uh, all the access related information. Okay. So, if you. Okay. So, what is happening? I will tell you here. It's a very interesting piece of stuff. So, your data set is there, right? What is it? Digits, images. Okay. So, this is the information. So we used I am show here also, right? I am show. What was I am show? What was I like? I was like thousand rows of uh, one element each, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thousand rows of one element each. Now, here digits image. See, this is all. This is this is first digit. 
first information that is coming here right so what it is doing this i am show utility i am show utility is uh, whatever number is there right corresponding to it it is representing that in the view okay this is now so uh, here it is i am i am show so see this i hmm. this is the first time i was using i am show right you are passing here i okay i has uh, all the numbers okay uh, in the form of uh, those list of numbers right thousand cross number okay for each number for each number it is uh, for each number which is getting placed here so so this in i am show do we have x axis and y axis Let's okay. let's see this now. Huh? So I printed it right now. This I. Mm. Okay. So see this one. Huh? Uh, Have here is this i is n p sin x into n p cos x cos of this data, right? So it is like n p sin of something and cos of something, right? So and uh, what is i sh? Uh, what is i sh? Thousand cross thousand. Okay, that means it says matrix of say thousand cross thousand. Okay, so uh, x is your uh, thousand comma like this, right? So sine of x will also be like this. N P cos. Let me try do this. N P dot cos. Cos. And we don't cross. Let's do this. Uh, it is thousand cross one. And if you're doing this, this, this product with this product, okay, and it is generating you thousand cross one. Right? It is generating thousand cross one. That means uh, you finally I has uh, thousand cross thousand information and for value at at a particular position. Uh, see, ah, uh, this is skip me corner where zero and thousand is there, right? Suppose zero and zero, what will be the color? The color is green because the value should be somewhere in point five range. Right, so if I dump I, don't get very difficult to understand. Um, zero. Uh, this is zero point six, right? Which is somewhere around green color. 
Yeah, because one point is very difficult, difficult to show here. Okay, it's very huge, right? So see somewhere between zero, zero and six is zero and uh, somewhere here. Yeah, somewhere here. Yeah, right, right, right. And the color is point six. Oh, point zero six. It is somewhere here, right? So it will be somewhere this color. Got it, right? So it's particular position, whatever is a pixel, whatever is the value of the point, you are showing color based on that. Right? It's, clear. it's a 2D matrix. Whatever value you have at that point, it is showing that color. I am sure. So similarly, similarly, this guy, okay, this guy, this guy is has a lot of images. So Suppose I. Suppose let me make it simple. Okay, this is your zero data. Zero data means this is your this data. This data. Okay. So right. So if you cross it will throw error, I guess. Because at least 0 to 7, that is 8, right? Understood, right? 0 to 7. So, so 0 plus 7 will be the last image here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can show this one, right? This particular segment. 0 plus 7. 0 plus 7. This one. So, oh, seven. Seven. this one. So yeah, it will show you this guy. So zero cross seven. This is zero. Uh, is it this or this? This is zero. Ah, this will be this. This. Okay. I'll I'll come back to this again. Actually, this. Uh, I mean, when I show this is like plotting various data sets here. Okay. Let me. So this is your intending digits. Like the people write intending, right? It's the images taken from there. Okay, these images are stored in pixel format. Okay, and that is what you're showing here. That you know, see, this is this is what your images. And actually, if you see, this is the data, and you can do processing on top of this data. Uh, so this is actually this information is already stored in the machine. Okay, so this part to this part conversion is already done for you. You can use this guy and do your calculations based on. So uh, let's see this. What are the two things? One is I am show sure digit CV is I. So what are the possible values? Should it be the text of the images? I another bracket J or something? Is it? Mm -hmm. Because I have both of them. Should it be the I another bracket? No, oh, actually, I'll tell you why. This is see, uh, right, 64, right? Mm -hmm. So this you want to you want to see the first image, right? You want to see the pixels for first image. Actually, uh, let it come and show you this correction. This will be your zeroth image. There are 64 images in the diagram, right? It cross it. Yeah. Okay, you want to see the representation of zero the image, it will be like this. <laughs> this, this is your image. So if you want to see zero the image, it will be like this. If you want to see 64 the image, see how much is zero the image? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, 8. So eight, this at each block is represented by 8 cross 8. Understood? Okay. And if you want to say 64, that means what I'm trying to say is this zero is it should be this, or it can it, it should be this actually. Okay. okay, because it is printing this way, right? Left to right should be this one. Okay, and say suppose you want to print 63rd, that means the last element. Right, so there will not be any 64th because 64 zero is a starting.
64 only, right? What was I printing? I sixty three only, no gun in B sixty four. How can this be here? Uh, yeah, because see the maximum value is sixty three. That means this loop is going sixty three times, and it is showing the image sixty three times. See, see AXI IM image, right? Digits color, right? So I think it's some data which is not to be bothered about. It has only zero to sixty three data. Right, zero to sixty three. That's what you see here, right? Zero. Yeah. Uh, still short value, so I think it is some uh, you know space which is unused or I don't know because it's not used in calculation for sure. Okay, because you have three blocks here, right? So I will check why it is coming, but let me let me check. So one zero eight three. Oh, okay. Actually, you can do much beyond it. I'm just you. Uh, uh, the idea here is the uh, data is already put for you. Suppose you want to have. You. So they are already put up and stored all them. This will also work. So there are in total one zero eight three such digits image. Okay. So among them, I was just printing eight cross sixty four. So all the other images is one zero eight three. Still processing. Not more images. That's the reason you don't want to display. Does not fit in the screen. I think it is not fitting the screen. So hmm. Got it, right? So, of course, you can do that, just that it, I think it was not fitting the screen. That's the reason. Okay, so the thing is a uh, little bit. Uh, Awareness of the data set actually it contains 1024 such images. Right? Each image, each image is represented by corresponding. So this is one, one image. Okay. So this one guy or this one guy apparently is this. Okay. So you can see here and some effect of zero can you see? It's always in the sense. See, Z, can you see this zero? Yeah. Huh? Ah, see, remember, uh, that is where I am show. I am show means this is a matrix, two cross two, I mean, uh, eight cross eight matrix. Okay. And in this eight cross eight matrix, you have to represent an image. Right. It has zero means no color. And since you are using binary here, okay, color mode binary. And see, you have some data like this here. It becomes, so it becomes zero, isn't it? Right? If you enable, if you if you have a color coding of positive numbers, black color, negative number, zero color, that is what is happening in this case. Okay. So what will happen? So if I if I do this, right? Let me get rid of this. Uh, and if I do this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Problem is, uh, no, I don't want to put it. So, plots. 
So you have this binary, right? Okay. So binary because of this you have two colors. Right. So we can, we can get more colors. So C map was uh, So what is happening in case since it was binary, okay, it was making sure that when it is zero or see you have a lot of numbers, okay, you want to represent in two colors. What you do you make one part of this number that's one color, one color, other part another color. Sure. Right. So if you make more colors, then you see this is all zero, isn't it? Whatever is coming blue is zero. Right. If we, okay, and whatever is this, this is you can see multiple colors here. See, this is first of zero different different color here and all that. Yes. That is because your image has different different values. So, the higher the intensity, ah, the different the color. So, suppose uh, you suppose you want to show second data, zero one. It should be one like right. See this. Right, so you're just enabled. So that is what is I am show. Right, so if you have uh, a matrix, which is actually image, this is what image processing does. What is image? Image is collection of all those pixels, right? Right, you have certain numbers corresponding to certain point. What is it? The R, G, B, certain points. So what do you have to? What your visualization tool has to do? Read that R, so red there, read the green, so green there, and all. Sure. Right. Interesting. Right, right, right. Now, now everything is coming into that's why it is interdisciplinary. You see a lot of uh, things getting uh, merged up here. Okay, so we'll use this handwriting detection data in our uh, in like in this image portal. Use handwriting detection data. Ah, which one is it? And then detection. Yeah, yeah, it's a uh, very heavily used. Very heavily used. We will be doing some uh, machine learning using this actually. We'll identify what is the good character. So what is in this age of black to me? Age of black. A is such that actually, so it is, uh, so you have here all this information, right? Uh, so this is actually disabling this access information of the last time. So it's just right here. Disable access. Okay. Then AX dot flat, right? See AX pick subplots, right? What is subplots doing? You uh, this is getting to the fake, hmm? right? And AX uh, you have how many AXs you have? Sixty four AX. Uh, I mean, in this case, sixteen AX. AX in the first class we read about AX, right? AX one. AX is the access, right? Uh, access related information like you know it, it can be building block class mm -hmm. you can do actually if you I mean here anyway how many x you are creating you're creating 4 plus 4 4 plus 4 16 right, right? so that is what you need ax flat means you create as 4 plus 4 matrix okay now it is creating 164 matrix that is the reason why you could map it directly right they could map it directly Directly, this guy goes directly to 15. So it is doing the flattening. Okay, so I'll just write it here. See, AX is a AAX is a uh, AX is a 4 cross 4 storage. Okay, AX is 4 plus 4 is storage. AX dot flat uh, maps into 16 storage, 16 uh, 
size got it right It takes it's just a small thing and it takes so much process. Can you imagine of uh, you know later things that like how how much things will be? It still was like there's sixteen blocks. And much more things to come actually. And then it will be far more time. If you do the image processing here, right? See, if you put it, see what is image? Image is a red bit, red bit. right? If you want to display that image, you consider to four cross uh, 720, it will take, you know, two, three hours. It is that in computation engine. Okay. And also for video, it's a video. Image processing, video processing are very intensive uh, stuff. Also. Okay. So, one of the things we have done, we have done uh, this subplotting of it, right? If you want to plot multiple graphs, we tried this for horizontal column, right? Subplotting. Uh, adding text, label, to all stuff. Sure. Right. So, Uh, still, I'll show one thing. Actually, this uh, way of writing AX come more on sub blocks. Just let me one show one simple thing on sub blocks. You should clear your doubts on uh, the AX one. Then yeah. show some sub blocks. You should clear the doubts on the AX part. That website is almost completed in the teamwork part, it should be deploying it today. So let's see. So planning I will be cut something. So I cut something it will be I cut one. Next to next to uh, next to next. So I think most likely it will be on time. Getting to intern section. They were doing some other work. Very hard working with fresh interns actually. A lot of work will be there. Okay, it has to be this sort of work. Later on, if they're doing good, then we'll continue. So let's see. Let's do it over. Okay, so let's build on this understanding now. So if you do AX1, right? So see this, if I do just plt.axis, it shows me this graph. Okay. If I do AX2, plt. Well, I do like this. Okay, so it starts from here. These are your different access information that you have got, right? Starting mm -hmm. Yeah, so it is like uh, 
So this is your uh, left bottom, left bottom weight height. Left, yeah, that was the order. Left bottom width. Okay, so could I do this? See this now. So. So uh, it is. This is at sixty-five percent from uh, from left. Right, you can see this around sixty-five percent, right? Uh, from bottom also, it is somewhere sixty-five percent. Okay, sixty-five percent. From width, it is uh, uh, point two. I mean, twenty percent of this entire width. Right? Make it. You don't fit in. Yeah, so it is going out. Right, because it is fifty percent of this entire thing. It's going to mean it's going to. Uh, if you make it five, it will cross that way also. It will become like uh, like this. Understood, right? Okay, where to place it? Excess, you can have that control. Where to place it? Okay. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, just a few more things here. So in the above diagram, I was showing you that uh, various. Uh, uh, so let me show it in a simple code. For I in range say two. Okay, so because we want to print two, uh, like uh, printing four plus four, right? Just understand uh, the code in a very simple. Okay. Or J in range three, right? J in range three, AX. Okay, uh, and prior to that, I have to tell it, right? See, previously I have to tell it that how many subplots I'm making, right? Let me do that as well. For oh, sorry. Okay. A X is a very superior sub plots sub plots the two cross three sub plots. The two plus three AX now AX I J Text zero point five from CR I comma three This, this is coming because of str ij this is the location 50 you want in the middle of it right okay so using ax you are able to plot it in the middle of it got it right ah uh, ax is a plot say a i i so two three right a if you want this is Hey, how many are there? Why? Oh, maybe just I can do this one. Yeah, I printed that again actually. Okay, by the way, so here it's two plus three. So uh, A X, you are making it. Uh, this is the entire. Fig is the entire stuff. A X is the granular control to this. You cannot do fig zero, fig one. 
okay fig is your entire picture the entire frame ax is a axis control inside it how many axes are there inside this fig six because two three you are doing it here okay and to get the access to each thing you're doing i comma j okay so you can do more things six axis so i i0 i1 i2 sorry it will be i0 i1 so i can be 0 and 1 that's a two rows for each row there can be 0 1 and 2 0 1 and 2 all right, right so 0 see you are getting it printed 0 0 0 0 1 0 2 1 0 1 1 1 there so if you want to place it somewhere else this is facing right? Just see, mm, see, if you are not providing it, this is this is this number you are asking, right? This number is where with respect to x axis and y axis. So if I write 0 0.5, 0 0.5, it's going to be in the middle, it will come. Okay, if I write 0, 0, so it will be at least x axis 0, and y axis 0. What is right? Right, right, place the text. Right, right, place the text. Hmm. I think we are all set for things are there, but that will be doing over when you're doing machine learning. I'm reading things. Like few of them we've already done. Like we're putting names here and all. Yeah, that is all the good part. Start with machine learning model. Subject to other folks, I want more people to come in because the subject is interesting. Other people I will be last lot of questions. So I will be very interactive. So what else keeps you busy? Oh, let me stop. <laughs>